Hi everyone, it's Kino. Let's look at one of the most challenging headstands in the Ashtanga yoga practice. This is from the intermediate series and this is called um, Mukta Hasta Shirsasana B position. So this is the second of the open hand or open bound headstand, unsupported headstand positions. Okay, so you would want to make sure you can do tripod headstand and jump back from tripod headstand. If you don't have that, in your toolbox already, make sure that's firmly established before you give this a try. So in order to do this, we're gonna set up as though we were entering tripod headstand. So you're gonna come onto your hands and knees. Nice way to get into this, exhale. Place the top of the head on the ground, then stand your legs up, walk in, walk in. Your shoulders remain strong, the shoulder girdle is nice and firm. The key with this is to have strength and articulation of the shoulders. So tripod headstand is the A position, the B position is like this. Your fingers are going to open to the side, the hands remain in alignment with your shoulders, then you tip the weight forward and inhale, pivot right at the hips. Keep your shoulders firm. If you lose your shoulders, you will lose your balance in the posture. Take five breaths here, spreading your fingers apart. Press your wrists into the ground. Pull the deltoids nice and firm. Lower ribs down. One, two, three, four, and five. Switch your hands to tripod headstand. Bend at your waist and exhale. Jump all the way back. Inhale to upward facing and then exhale down to complete the vinyasa, okay? So it's possible to actually enter the posture without that prep in the tripod headstand, but it's a little harder. So you would need to know exactly where you're going and just stand right up and move directly into the posture. If you feel yourself wavering at all, don't move your hands. You can just come back down the same way. But again, nice easy move of the hands. Bend at the waist, exhale, jump back. Okay, so that's a really challenging posture, but the, but the lesson of it is really to be strong and have movement capability in your shoulders. Keep practicing, it'll definitely come.